Wäre cool, wenn du über einen Baum über den Bach balancieren würdest. Das wäre richtig geil. <lacht> ja, aber dann sehe ich mich da schon reinfallen. <lacht> ist, wenn man das so sieht, schon echt ein hässlicher Wald, ne? Hey there, Smart Mouthies. How are we all doing? We are entering April and the month of health and wellness. I think wellness is the uh, priority here. Wellness and health, but we all know, go hand in hand. Um, I know that this will be a topic that is very difficult for me to talk about because I am not healthy. Uh, I could also title this video, you don't look sick, uh, but I am. Um, I have watched Holly's video and I um, almost cried when she almost cried. And I uh, said to myself, I don't know if I am strong enough to do that. So I wanted to start off with something lighter. Um, Holly already mentioned that, in my opinion, mental and physical health are go hand in hand. And uh, this is what I want to touch on about, uh, because for me to manage my day-to-day -day life, it is uh, most important to be mentally stable. And to maintain mental stability, I spent a lot of time in forests or in the woods whatever you prefer. And I do something that is called Shinrin Yoku, which is also translated to forest bathing. For me, the benefits of Shinrin Yoku are more energy, better sleep, um, increased lung function because you breathe in the air, the cleaned air that the trees cleaned. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It has also a mood busting effect, as my yoga teacher always says, who is also a Shinrin Yoku teacher. Uh, she always says, no one goes into the woods and says, I hate it here, which is basically true. I grew up near the woods and I would go, I think every time I was outside, playing outside, it would be something in the woods. So we would go on uh, biking tours, we would go there for dog walks. Um, I took up running and in the evening, if I felt bad, especially after school, <laughs> I would uh, go for a run in the woods. So it was always there and it was always relaxing. But back in the day, I didn't understand um, the deeper meaning of it. So now in the woods, it's for me, it's coming down, it's coming to my senses, it's coming back to myself. and. I'm gonna tell you a little story. Now we're gonna close this stupid thing up. I'm gonna tell it. So when I was in my early mid and early late twenties, I was living in Cologne and as it is a big city, you have a lot of options to go out and go clubbing or having a drink or whatever. And as it is also a city with uh, universities, you will, if you go clubbing, there will always be some very young people. So as you get older, it's more difficult to find um, people your age that go clubbing. I don't know. It's, I don't know what it is. So anyways, back in the days, there were these so-called hoochie-coochie parties in Cologne where people um, 30 and above would go. A friend invited me. She was over 30, I was 27, so she took me with her. And we were the youngest there at the party. And I saw people over 40, over 50. They were... I'm trying this is here's no judgment involved this is simply my point of view at that moment dancing at 27 drunk in a club in cologne i knew that if i was 40 or 50 this would not be my life i would have done the clubbing already being in that present then um, and i would 
the uh, focus would be a different one. And I saw these people up on the tables and dancing and going crazy and getting drunk. And I thought, no, this is not gonna be me. When I'm in their age, uh, when I'm at their age, the same age, oh, English grammar, not good. Um, I thought, I don't, I don't wanna be that. I, I have done the clubbing scene. I've, I've done my share of dancing and drinking. Um, I hope that my Fridays and Saturday nights at that age will involve sitting at home with friends and having deep talks and just trying to figure out the deeper meanings of life. And there was just a few months ago, a Friday night, um, where we did Shin and Yoko in the evening. And it was like around eight in the evening and we went into the woods and I thought, it's, it's like I predicted. I'm 40 and I'm not out clubbing. Okay, it's a pandemic, no one was out clubbing. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> but I was in the woods and I was exactly where I thought 13 years before I would be at that age. And this is why this feels so right to me and why the woods have such an effect on me. Clubbing never had that effect. Clubbing the next day I would feel bad due to a hangover or having worn high heels and dancing all night so your feet would hurt and um, I don't know and if you come out of the woods you feel amazing you feel rejuvenated I probably with 40 I feel younger than I did with 27 <laughs> so this is Shinrin Yoku to me and I really encourage you to look it up and maybe try for yourself because mental health is important and you will also benefit uh, for your physical health. So that's it for me today and I hope we started on a lighter note and if you have any questions or whatever you can always drop a comment. I look forward to reading your comments. Okay, bye! Und wenn du den Weg so spazierst? For me, Shinrin Yoku benefits include um, if I don't know what the benefits are and I have to read it from a sheet, maybe there are no benefits. Uh, so it's it's also a mood buster. Mood. And I have always the most, if I played as a kid outside, it was almost the sentence, note to self, never ever write down anything again, just wing it, because you will forget what you put on the sheet. Go there for dog walks. Um, If I cannot even remember what I did in the woods, it never ever write anything down again, just talk.